Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, thank you so much for asking me to do this. Um, I'm not one of those people that kind of has poems in my back pocket that I just pull out for whatever occasion. I do that with songs, but you asked for a poem. So I was delighted to go through my limited supply of poetry books today to try and find something. So I looked at some Ginsberg, and I looked at some Singh, and I looked at some French poetry, um, and I looked at some Walt Whitman. And the passage I'm going to read out to you is from Leaves of Grass. It's chapter 42, and what it evoked in me, what it kind of set a light in me, was how it's going to feel when we can all be together again. And I'm touching the wood on my kitchen table, hoping that that will be quite soon, as things are looking better than we'd expected. Um, either way, it won't be too long before we can hang out outdoors and devise and discuss and bounce ideas and have fun with them. So um, this is Walt Whitman. A call in the midst of the crowd, my own voice orutund, sweeping and final. Come, my children, come, my boys and girls, and my women and household and intimates. Now the performer launches his nerve. He has passed his prelude on the reeds within. Easily written, loose-fingered chords, I feel the thrum of their climax and close. My head evolves on my neck. Music rolls, but not from the organ. Folks are around me, but they are no household of mine. Ever the hard and unsunk ground, ever the eaters and drinkers, ever the upward and downward sun, ever the air and the ceaseless tides, ever myself and my neighbours, refreshing and wicked and real, ever the old inexplicable query, ever that thorned thumb, that breath of itches and thirsts, Ever the vexers hoot hoot till we find where the sly one hides and bring him forth. Ever love, ever the sobbing liquid of life, ever the bandage under the chin, ever the trestles of death. Here and there with dimes on the eyes walking to feed the greed of the belly, the brains liberally spooning. Tickets buying, or taking, or selling, but into the feast never once going. Many sweating and ploughing and thrashing, and then the chaff for payment receiving, a few idly owning, and they the wheat continually claiming. This is the city, and I am one of the citizens. Whatever interests the rest interests me. Politics, churches, newspapers, schools, benevolent societies, improvements, banks, tariffs, steamships, factories, markets, stocks and stores and real estate and personal estate. They who piddle and patter here in collars and tailed coats, I am aware who they are and that they are not worms or fleas. I acknowledge the duplicates of myself under all the grape-lipped and pipe-legged concealments. The weakest and shallowest is deathless with me. What I do and say, the same waits for them. Every thought that flounders in me, the same flounders in them. I know perfectly well my own egotism, and know my omnivorous words, and cannot say any less, and would fetch you, whoever you are, flush with myself. See you all very soon.